Let us continue the problems on the determinants. Evaluate this determinant by cofactors of row 1. So means we have to evaluate the given determinant by using the cofactor formula along the first row. So already we will be knowing this. So in, while defining the determinant of A, so I have shown how we can expand a 2 cross 2 determinant and 3 cross 3 determinant. So that is followed from the cofactor formula. Expanding, finding the value of the determinant in general is nothing but using the cofactor formula along the first row. Okay. So in this problem, so we have many formulae to find the determinant value, like the big formula, the total formula, then cofactor formula, and if we have system of equations, then we can find the values of unknowns using the Kramer's rule, etc. So here we have given a four cross four matrix. for which we have to get its value by expanding along the first row that is using the cofactor formula expanding along the first row so the cofactor formula along the first row is given by determinant of a is equal to a11 c11 plus a12 c12 plus a13 c13 plus a14 c14 in general c 1 1 c 1 2 c 1 3 c 1 4 represent the cofactors in general it is represented by c i j which is equal to minus 1 to the power i plus j times determinant of m i j that is minor matrix so here we have to find the value of the determinant by expanding along the first row using the cofactor formula okay so this is the cofactor formula along the first row let us find out the cofactors C11, C12, C13, C14. So we call these cofactors of the first row elements. Okay. So C11 is given by minus 1 to the power 1 plus 1 times determinant of minor matrix. Okay. How we will get this minor matrix? So we are finding the cofactors of all the first row elements. So we have to delete the first row and first column to obtain the cofactor minor of 4. Okay. So the minor of 4, the first entry of the first row is 4. The minor of this 4 will obtain by deleting the first row and first column, which is a 3 cross 3 matrix. Its determinant case determinant of 2, 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, 1, 0, 2. So it will be multiplied by minus 1 to the power 1 plus 1. Further, to expand this determinant, again we have to use the cofactor formula along the first row. So repeatedly we will be using the cofactor formula here because we are, have given a 4 cross 4 matrix, right? So repeatedly. We have to use the cofactor formula along the first row. So the cofactor of C11 is minus 1 to the power 1 plus 1 times determinant of minor matrix of first entry. Now again this is a 3 cross 3 determinant. So expanding this again using the cofactor formula. So directly I have written the formula. Okay 2 into again determ uh, determinant of minor of 2 minus the second element is 0, so 0 into anything is 0 plus 1 into again determinant of minor of the third entry, okay, which will be getting by deleting the first row and the third column. <coughs> so, so the entire expansion, okay, results to the cofactor of the first entry that is C11, which gives 3. Next. The cofactor of the second element of the first row that is C12 is equal to minus 1 to the power 1 plus 1 times determinant of minor of C12. Okay, 
So minor of C12, this is C12, right? This is the second element, okay? So cofactor of this is obtained by deleting the first row and second column, okay? Gives the cofactor along with the sign and that is minus time determinant of minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 0, 2. Similarly, cofactor of 4 gives this third entry that is minus sign minus 1 to the power. This is the third entry. So 1 plus 3 become plus. So here we have to follow the sign rule plus minus plus minus. So cofactor of the third entry is equal to plus times determinant of minor matrix minor determinant of minor matrix minor matrix of this entry will be obtained by deleting the first row and the third column that is 1 2 1 2 0 2 1 1 2 and finally the cofactor of the last element of the first row which is 4 okay obtained by deleting the first row and the last column here yeah? The sign is minus. So I will show you. C C12 is equal to minus to the minus 1 to the power 1 plus 2. Okay. That is minus sign time determinant of minor matrix, which is again a 3 cross 3, which will be expanded using again the cofactor formula. So repeatedly we have to use the cofactor formula along the first row. So cofactor of C13 minus 1 to the power 1 plus 3 in times determinant of the minor matrix. Minor matrix will be obtained by deleting the first one and the third column. Again, expanding and simplifying. We get the value. And lastly, the cofactor of the fourth element is minus 1 to the power 1 plus 4 times determinant of the minor matrix. So minor matrix is obtained by deleting the first row and the last column. Expanding this determinant, we get minus 1. So now substituting all the cofactors that correspond to the first row in the above formula and simplifying, we get the value of the given matrix A. That is determinant of A is equal to minus 12. So this is how we can expand a matrix of any order, okay, any order, which will be a square matrix. So in this next problem, you have to find the value of the determinants of ABC by big formula. So as we know the big formula, so big formula corresponds to the permutation matrix and the order of permutation or order of the permutation matrix. That is determinant of A is equal to summation of determinant of permutation matrix times A1 alpha A2 beta and so on A W gamma where alpha, beta and so on, gamma represents the column order, right, column order. So as I told you, permutation matrix is nothing but an identity matrix. Rearranging of the ones, okay, gives the other matrices, right. So rearranging the terms are not, nothing but the permuting the elements, right. So if we have an identity matrix of 2. So how many permutation matrices we can form? 2 factorial permutations that is 2 permutation matrices by changing or by rearranging the positions of 1s. Similarly for a 3 cross 3 matrix identity matrix so we can form 3 factorial permutations that is 6 permutation matrices by rearranging the positions of ones okay so here position so ones takes the column order so as i said we can follow the cyclic order with reference to p1 one two three this is the first column order position of ones in the first column takes first position in the second column take the second position in the third column takes the third position that is how that's how the identity identity matrix will look like so with reference to P1, we can write P2. Here we can follow the cyclic order. 
so after one two after two three after three one next p3 we can write with reference to p2 after two three after three it is one after one it is two here simple algebra i have used okay so then to write p4 p5 and p6 so we have to consider p1 in reverse order that is three two one then we have to write its cyclic order okay so this we can follow otherwise here i have written one more cyclic order okay not more than six you can match this or this order and this two. these two are same not more than six permutation matrices we can form okay so let me present the formula first so general formula i have written since we have uh, three cross three matrices right so for which we have to find the data its determinants using the big formula right so with reference to the column orders of the permutation matrices let us expand the big formula okay so with reference to the column order one two three so the first term of the big formula will be determinant of p1 times a11 a22 a33 so the first suffix are common for all the coefficients a1 a2 a3 okay the second suffix 1 2 3 2 1 3 represents the column order remember this okay so here in the big formula so i'll have six terms now substituting all the elements okay all the values so determinant of p1 so p1 is a permutation matrix that is 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 okay so where the positions of 1 that is column order is 1 2 3 into the coefficients a11 a22 a33 so these are the elements in the given matrix right see i'll show you C so is the matrix where we have given the elements as a11, a12, a13, a21, a22, a23, a31, a32, a33. So these coefficients or these elements I have to substitute in the big formula. Okay. Plus next is so first I have written the elements of A, a12, a21, a33 with reference to A I have written times determinant of p2 okay so p2 takes the column order 2 1 3 i have shown 2 position of 1 will change this 2 1 3 okay with reference to this i am writing the permutation matrices okay plus next determinant of p3 okay a12 a23 a31 times determinant of p3 so the next permutation matrix is p3 where the column order takes 2, 3, 1 plus coefficients into determinant of P4. So P4 permutation matrix 4 takes the column order 1, 3, 2. You can check. Plus elements of A times P5. P5 takes the column order 3, 1, 2 plus the last entry that is coefficient uh, elements of A times P6. So here P6 they takes the column order 3, 2, 1. Okay. So with reference to this column order, I have written the permutation matrices. Here I have written one more column order. This also you can follow, no doubt in that. Okay. Now simplifying this by expanding the three all the three cross three determinants okay and multiplying we'll get the value of the determinant as 12. Similarly, you can employ the big formula to the second matrix and you can find its value using the big formula. Similar problems here I have done. Let me just go through it.
simple problems also have worked just follow it and permutations and cofactors So in this example, we have to find the cofactor matrix C and we have to compare the results AC transpose with A inverse. Okay, matrix A is given and will be given inverse of this matrix. After finding the cofactor matrix, just we have to compare the product AC transpose with A inverse. Okay, so let us find the cofactor matrix. Say here. I have not written the formula of the cofactor matrix. Instead, uh, directly I have written the cofactor matrix. See, you can follow this also instead of uh, writing all the cofactors using the formula. Okay. So, in the above examples, I have been used the cofactor formula. Okay. And I have I've got uh, one by one all the cofactors of all the nine entries. If it is a 3 cross 3 matrix okay so if you want to find the cofactor matrix means we have to find all the cofactors of the matrix C so if you want to expand the determinant means we'll be using the cofactor formula with reference to only the first row understood so finding the cofactor matrix and finding the determinant using the cofactor matrix will be a different task understood so determinant expansion will be followed using the cofactor formula with reference to only the first row. Okay. So finding the cofactor matrix means we have to get the cofactors of all the elements with reference to the formula. That is minus 1 to the power i plus j times determinant of m i j. Otherwise, we can have the cofactor cofactor matrix directly by sign rule plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus okay where all the elements will are the minors of each element of the given matrix understood okay see here i have written directly the cofactor matrix so you can go with this also okay that is c is equal to the cofactor of the first entry with plus sign that is minor of that entry minus so all the minors will get by deleting the particular row and column where that element is present suppose if we want to find the element uh, the cofactor of 2 okay to get the minor matrix we have to delete the first row and first column next to find the minor of minus 1 we have to delete the first row and second column okay to get the minor matrix of 0, we have to delete the first row and third column. Next, to get the minor of matrix of minus 1. Okay, instead we can say cofactor of minus 1. Okay, so we have to, to get the min, uh, minor matrix, we have to delete the second row and first column. So, we have to delete the particular row and column where that element is present okay so here i have written all the minor matrix minor matrix then let us simplify this so simplification is very simple so which gives the required cofactor matrix of the given matrix that is 3 2 1 2 4 2 minus 1 2 3 now let us compute A inverse that is C transpose by determinant of A. Okay, 
okay transpose of uh, the cofactor matrix by determinant of a gives one by four times this which is a inverse so this is what we have we have to compare it is given right compare the result that is compare determinant of ac transpose with a inverse I think this is uh, C transpose by determinant of E, this one. So this is a simple problem, just to go through. 